everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video, and in this video we're actually going to talk about Star Wars Battlefront 2, the new one, the bad one, and I actually got it at a discount of free, because Ragnar was nice enough, and he actually game shared with me, but the game was on sale, I don't know if it still is, on Xbox Gold for, I think it was like $25, and I was looking at it, and I'm like, eh, do I want it, do I not want it, and Ragnar's like, I want to game share with you, this game's awesome, so I started playing this game, right? And as a casual game, you know, I could definitely see this as, you know, for me personally, a game that maybe I only play like two hours at a time, right? Maybe only on live stream. It seems to be, the, it actually seems to be going that way. Sometimes when Ragnar's on, we play it. But as a casual game, you know, the game that maybe you just play on the weekends, you play it eight hours a week. Is it a good casual game? And playing this game, it's really hard to figure out if it's for you or not. Let me explain. So, first of all, all the loot box candidates are gone. All you get is, like, cosmetic stuff in the loot boxes. And you get them for free anyway. So we're going to take out all the loot box stuff. Get rid of it. I mean, that might encourage you to grind for loot boxes and cosmetics. I don't know. But, co like, loot boxes are just in the game just to say it has loot boxes, right? So... With the linear progression system, first of all, is with the skill point system, you earn skill points for using one specific class. And for every skill point that you earn, you get to put it into whatever you want, kind of. It's one of those things where it's like, oh, you get these four options unlocked at level two, you get two more at level five, you know, you get two more at level ten. You know, it's that kind of progression system. And it goes quite far. The last unlock for your cards is level 30. So the when you get a class to level 30, which takes, I'm playing it, it takes a long time to get to level 30 if you are not a good game player. But if you're good, I'm only put, I think I've only put like 15 hours into the game and I'm just grinding out one of the classes. I'm getting there. I'm, I'm getting it up there. Like 15 hours in, it's I think around 22 actually. And this is where it gets to the next part, is upgrading these star cards, right? So you have something like, when you get a kill, you regenerate 25 health, right? But you can upgrade that card. But you can only upgrade it to level 2 out of 4. To get the next upgrade, you got to level up to 22 in your class. So in that case, it's kind of a grind. So with this casual game type an an analysis, I don't even know how to say analysis at this point. In the actual game, to use something like a jetpacker or a, a Wookiee or a hero, you have to get battle points. This is where, if you're a casual gamer, it's going to turn you off, kind of. So you earn these battle points through doing like kill streaks, you know, double kills and stuff, and it's very exponential, right? So you get one kill in a life and get 300 battle points, or you could go on a four kill streak and cap an objective and get 5,000 battle points. And a hero is between six to 8,000, either six or 8,000 battle points. And not only that, but if your team is kicking butt, you're probably not even gonna get to play a hero. You know, so if you're there for the heroes, there is heroes versus villains mode. And I really, you know, I don't like the star cards and I do at the same time. As a casual game, first of all, just get good at one mode. If you wanna, really experience this game and there's a bunch of different ways to experience this game and they're they're all pretty good i prefer the heroes versus villains mode and your heroes have their own levels and star cards so you're gonna you know play around with the heroes play around with them in arcade mode play around with them in heroes versus villains and it doesn't take it does not take very long to find a hero you like i think i was playing the light side and it's like i tried out Finn, I tried out Rey, I tried out Yoda, and I tried out Han Solo, right? I haven't even tried out everyone. And I already like Rey, Yoda, and Han Solo. So right there, boom, I got two lightsaber characters and a shooting character. The dark side, same thing. I was like, oh, let's try Kylo Ren, Darth Maul. We got Captain Phasma, Darth Vader, and I really like Phasma and Darth Vader, so I stick with those two characters. You know, it's very... The, the process... Even though there's only like eight characters per side, the process of finding the one that you want to play as so fast and then you start leveling it up, 
is super fast. So you're not going to waste a lot of time on that. So you're not, you know, it gives you a sense very early on of knowing what you're doing and already working on your skills with those characters. So this game, it's got, it's kind of like Clash Royale. Very simple to pick up, very simple to learn, and in my opinion, it is very simple to figure out what you're doing wrong and fix it step by step by step, and then later on, continue to fix it even if you haven't been playing, right? Thermal detonator, standard grenade. I'm learning how to use the thermal detonator better. Ray, I'm learning how to use Ray better. Darth Maul, I'm, I also like Darth Maul. I'm learning how to use Darth Maul better every single time I play those characters, and there's ways you can do that. So, overall, in my opinion, with the way that this game is built, I think it is a good casual game at a discount. Playing this game, I understand that free DLC is going to come out, and there's actually deal free DLC for the campaign, which I think is really cool. Right now, it's got its five standard game modes, its eight heroes on both sides, so 16 total heroes, and the seven hero ships. I really think that right now, if you can get this game at I'd say 25 to 40 bucks. 40 bucks is eh. You gotta be a Star Wars fan if you're buying it at 40 bucks. But 25 bucks for just a gamer, this is a good deal. This is a very good casual game. Hardcore, I haven't sunk enough hours in to understand if it's really good hardcore. Already I can kind of see some flaws with it, but I kind of can see how if they add the right DLC, it'll make the game good for everyone. So thank you for watching this episode if you enjoyed. You can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more casual gaming videos. I'm definitely going to be making more videos on Star Wars Battlefront 2 because it's actually shaping up to be quite a good YouTube game. I don't know why. But I'll see you guys in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam it post of whatever I decide to make.